Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this! Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I just forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! is going on fourth grade welcome to the math fsa boot camp series this is the last episode episode number 28 all right so before we get started go ahead and make sure that you've got the worksheet that you need for today so you can mark up the text and solve everything out with me all right where do you find the worksheet well if you click below or somewhere around this video you'll notice there should be a link you just click that it'll take you to my website where you can download the worksheet that you need for this episode along with all of the other episodes all 28 of them in the fourth grade version of the FSA boot camp. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and pause the video. Solve number one and number two on your own. You're going to throw down your best as if these two questions were on the test. You got it. You've been watching. And then come on back to join me and check your work. Fourth grade. All right, so you know how we rock and roll here. First, we're going to identify that question type first. I'm seeing A, B, C, and D. So what kind of question is this? It is a multiple choice. If you knew that, you are like an FSA master now. You're ready. I hope you're feeling ready, feeling confident about this test because you've been working really hard all year long. Let's read the question and mark up our text. It says, which figure, all those down there are the figures, has a line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is a line that we could take and fold it in half to make it mirror images, okay? So we just need at least one. Sometimes these questions will ask you for more than one line of symmetry, but we just have to locate one line. If it has one line of symmetry, we need to mark it. Now, because it's a multiple choice question, there should only be one. So let's look at the A. Where could we place a line going down of symmetry? Right down the middle, right? Doop, 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 doop. Yes, right there is where we could cut it in half. And then you have, if we were to fold that, it would be the same shape on each side. With L, I mean, some of you might be thinking that it's right there, but we've got, this is too short and this is too long right there. So we can eliminate B. With F, there's nowhere to mark it up. And with S, some students might think I can do that going right down the middle or even going this way, but that is not correct because look, if we go down the middle, let's focus on just this one right here, okay? We would be going down and cutting in. Oops, you can't see. We would be going down and cutting in, which means we should be going down and cutting in on that side, and that's not what's happening there. 
okay? We can eliminate D, so our correct answer is A. Bubble it in. Don't take too long to bubble it in, but make sure it's dark. You know all this by now. We've been practicing for 28 episodes. Number two. Number two, question type, I see a grid. So what kind of question is this? It is a gridded response. Zoop. This says a hexagon is shown below. A hexagon, hexagon has six, they both have that X, six sides and angles. I know that because one, two, three, four, five, six, just a little extra information for you. But this says how many lines of symmetry does the hexagon have? Lines of symmetry. So how many times could we fold, how many different ways could we put a line where we could fold it in half and it would be a mirror image on both sides? Well, here it is. First, we could go down the middle. All right. This is a, this is also, hang on. Before I jump into that, this is called a regular hexagon or a regular polygon because all the sides are equal and that matters. Because of that, we could do one line going here down the middle, right? Oh, I made that a little over, but imagine I went right down the middle. Sorry about that. Let me try to be more careful. I could also go from tip to tip. So that would be two lines. You know what? I need to stop playing and actually get a straight edge going on here to show you. Okay, that's better. There's two lines and this one really should be in more. Like that, if I had a pencil, I would have redone it. That's not even that good either. Ugh. All right, just stay with me, all right? <laughs> I'll do better on the other ones. Then we could do right about here and right about there is the middle. That would be three lines and then we would have from tip to tip four lines and then we could go from the middle to the middle five lines of symmetry to cut it in half and then finally tip to tip again six lines so right here I'm gonna put oopsie because I kind of messed up on that one right there but it should be one. So if you count that, it would be one line, one, which goes down here, one, two, which goes here, two, three, which goes here, three, four, four, five, the other end is five, and six, six. We have six lines of symmetry, not counting this Oops, a daisy one down the middle. Sorry about that. If I had a pencil, I would erase it, but I did it in pen, y'all. That's why you don't do math in pen unless you're this crazy math lady on YouTube who has to use pen so it looks better and shows up for you on camera. Just kidding. All right, so how many lines did it have? Six, and we can write our six lines either right there or you could also jot it down over there. <gasps> I actually wrote something over there which would be okay. I'm going to bubble it in on this side though. Remember, as I have always said throughout this series, when you grid in the gridded response, go with how your teacher has been encouraging you. Okay. If your teacher says, do it on this side, do it on that side. If your teacher says, do it on the left side, do it on the left side. If your teacher is saying, put it in the middle somewhere random, then that's not the right way to do it. I'll, I'll say something there. Don't put it randomly in the middle. Stick to a side. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and gather up some more helpful videos for you with lines of symmetry. All right, fourth graders. So if you know that you need some more help, more practice with lines of symmetry, I first encourage you to check out the link below for McCarthy Math 155. The 155 stands for 155 daily video lessons. They're high energy. They are jam packed. If you enjoy these videos, you're going to love McCarthy Math 155. Now you do have to become a member in order to watch these videos, but you can totally check it out for free. First seven days, you get all access access to actually all three grade levels for seven days. And there's the printable worksheets right next to each video that you can print out and work along with me. There's also workbooks that go with the program. So you don't have to print it out. You should check that out. And uh, yeah, 
When you get access during your free trial and you know you need help with lines of symmetry, go to unit 13 because that's where there's a few videos there for lines of symmetry where we break down very similar types of problems that we did today. Teachers, parents, district leaders, if you are interested in the McCarthy Math 155 program, this is something that you can share with students. I encourage you to share it during your free trial to make sure it works for you. And I walk you through how to do that on the tutorials tab on my website. Just scroll down to video number five. It says something like how to share videos with students. I try to make it pretty obvious for you. The next link that I would like to talk about is the how to pass the math FSA video that I've linked below or somewhere around this video. Now the how to pass the math FSA series was the first series that I created on YouTube. It was back when the FSA for fourth grade was a computer-based test. So the questions, they look a little different here and there. I mean, there's still multiple choice and multi-select and tables and all of that similar there but um, it didn't have any gridded responses and there weren't any editing tasks that you've seen. That's why I wanted to create the Math FSA Bootcamp to reflect the newer version. Still, the older version, the How to Pass the Math FSA videos provide great practice. Teachers have been using them for years with great success. So if you know that you need some more practice on lines of symmetry, check out the link below. I'd love for you to follow me on my social media platforms. That way you know when I'm releasing new content out into the world. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm also on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, awesome. Can you go ahead and like this video? Not for me or to make me feel good, but to support my mission because there's so many students out there who struggle with math. And y'all, I am on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for as many students as possible. So when you smash that like button, it really is transforming the life of somebody you don't even know. And that's pretty awesome. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, but it's the last episode. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to cry. I'm not crying because I know that y'all have been watching and working really, really hard and you're ready and you'll be in fifth grade next year and I'll have more videos for you. So it's not like goodbye. It's just like you're, you've completed this series, which is awesome. Okay. We've got this. All right. Let me try this again. Before you go, like as in before you leave this episode, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the generation that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of fourth graders right here. These are world changers, y'all, who are getting ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose what? Kindness. And you always have that choice. And when you mess up, apologize. I'm just going to say that too. You're going to mess up in life. When you mess up and you are not being so kind, apologize and try to be better next time, okay? And I will see you all on another episode somewhere in the future. This isn't goodbye. This is just well done. You've completed the boot camp. Woo! Bye, guys.